Hello and welcome back to Adventure of the Way. I'm Emma, I'm a mum of three from the UK and if you like home education content, family content, a little bit about adoption, this is the place for you. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And carrying on from last week, this is part two of our Home Ed With Me series. The last video left off with me telling you that we were gonna, we had just finished our English with Bessie and we were gonna move on to English with Charles. So let's see how we got on. Right, so Charles, please write the date. What are we on? Level six. My nose is all squeaky. I'm just gonna give the dog, go and give the dog her food before you write the date. Anderson's not finished her breakfast. Right, you ready? Why why is 2021 huge? Because <laughs> um Because you felt like it? You're supposed to be eating your breakfast when you are. Anyway, right. Find part one on your worksheet. You're going to trace the letter all eight times. Put the first all. E and put your pencil on the dot. E now find the arrows and write e the letter all. Oh. Say the sound all oh, each time e you write the letter. Charles, you're already a pro at this. E you know exactly what I'm going to ask you. E e e e e e e e e e all right, show off. <laughs> okay, so I will say some sounds. Each time I say the sound, I want you to find the right letter and trace it. Remember to start on the dot and follow the arrows. Are you ready to rumble? Okay. Oh. Uh. Ah. Oh, uh. D. Oh, uh, d. <laughs> ha. Oh, uh, d, ha. Huh? Oh. Oh, uh, d, ha, oh. Mmm. <laughs> oh, uh, d, oh, ha, uh. <laughs> it gets harder the more you have. Yeah. Ha. Huh? Uh, the A. Oh. Oh. Ah. Ah. Um. Um. Neatly, please. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Da. Da. <laughs> what happened there? Da. Duh. Is your hand shaking? It looks like it. Hmm. Doesn't, look, doesn't feel like it. What did I just say? Duh. Uh, oh. Um. It doesn't look like it's shaking. It does look like it's yeah. shaking. But when you touch it, it's not. Ah. Find part four on your worksheet. See the word hug. I will point to the letters and say the sounds in hug. H -a -g. Now you say the sounds in hug, Charles. What's the last sound in hug? What's the first sound in hug? What's the middle sound in hug? 
Now it's time to swap back again. Bessie comes up and does her maths with me. She does not want this to be filmed. So you just have this lovely little picture instead. Um, I will share with you at some point what the books look like if you would like, but she does not want to be filmed for this. So let's uh, have, can have a look at the picture and then we will skip ahead to Charles doing his maths, which kind of leaves us at the end. Right, so tally the shapes. How are we going to tally the shapes? Count the shapes, make the tally, make one four. So you know, right. Let's start with triangles, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So how do we make that on a tally? Whoa, 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 whoa! You said you were starting with triangles. Why are you writing it in the circle one? Ignore that. Just don't scribble it. Don't scribble. You know how I hate the scribble. Nice. Wonderful. Not even. Circle. Okay. Very nice. And scabars. Very nice. I'm going to put my numbers in. Do, 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 Okay. Draw a pictogram for the shapes. Each cross represents one shape. There's a pentagram. So, shall I go and find a textbook? It might say a little bit more information about pictogram. Does it say for the textbook? Export textbook, um, page 52. 52! Okie dokie. I'm on page 38. So, the textbook just shows a pictogram. It's just like a tally, but instead of a line, it's just a picture. So, table 1 has one, two, three, four, five table points. So it's just saying to put a cross. So in, in to put a cross for each um, each shape. So in the circle one, how many are there? Five. So how many crosses would you put in? Five. Five. No, don't take my pen apart. That's not okay. Gentle because otherwise when you make a otherwise you make a mistake when you do it fast. Next one. How many crosses are going to be in square? Very nice triangle. Very good. We're moving through this nice and quickly at the moment, aren't we? Draw a pictogram for this tally chart. Each something represents one leaf. So what are you going to do? So you get to pick what the picture is going to be for the pictogram. So what is it going to be? You can do a tick, you can do a love heart, you can do a smiley face, draw a poop. <laughs> gonna draw. Is it gonna be a poop? Is that a creeper? Alright, well I never I don't play Minecraft. It's a Minecraft person. A Minecraft person. You're gonna have to draw lots of Minecraft people in these tiny tiny boxes. No, it's just something for me. But but you're gonna have loads gonna of them to draw. Look, look. Okay, so how many ash leaves are there? Which is five. So you need to draw five. I'm just gonna go shut the window. It's actually chilly in here, isn't it? Uh, the breeze. Blow up the 
Just putting my jumper on. Yes. You just changed it to just blocks. Yes. Just blocks. No, I have dirt. I have dirt blocks. I have dirt blocks in the and that's another dirt block as well. That creek is now also dirt block. I like dirt blocks. They're the best. And that's also dirt block. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, yeah, one, two, one, two, three, and then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, very nice. Match the tally charts to the picture pictograms. So, so they've done the pictograms for you with this one, so you've just got to match them up. It's a good dog. Who oh, is a good dog? You know me now, I'm a good dog. Okay, so hey, chill. So let's look, let's look at Sandy. Sandy, 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 okay? So how many has Sandy got? How many goals did she score? Hmm? Seven. Huh? Seven. Seven. Okay, so which one of these has got seven goals? So you count the balls and you can find out. So let's check. How many has Ravi got? Two. Does that, does that match? Two. How many has Liv got? Yep, yeah, didn't match? So draw a line from that one to the bottom one. It has to be a wiggly line, does it? Sometimes I think you try to make it as messy as possible on purpose. Oh. Right, this next one. How many has Sandy got? Did you find one that where Sandy had six already? And has Rav, Ravi got two? Yeah. Has Liv got five? Yeah. Wonderful. And uh, what about the last one? Does that match the last one? How many Sandy got? Do they match? Yeah. Wonderful. Last page then. There are 25 children in class A. That's a lot of children, isn't it? We don't have that many children in our class, do we? There's a million children. We don't have 25 children in our class, do we? How many children are in this class? A million. How many children right now are in this class? Two. Two? Where's the other child? Are you calling me a child? You cheeky little monkey. Right then. So, here is part of a pictogram showing their favourite sports. The rest of the children like tennis. Complete the pictogram. So, how many children have we got? Don't scribble them so we can't see their faces. Right? Just colour in their clothes instead. So that you can't see. This one's a mummy. Are you, still, are you still counting? How many is there? Eight. So write the number eight here so you remember. Nice and neat. Thank you. Okay, how many children like football? Football. Stop doodling and count. Come on. Oh, okay, so how many is that in total? It's naughty pants. Eighteen. Eighteen. So how are we going to work out how many have got tennis? We've got eighteen children have already said the answer. We know there's twenty-five in total. How are we going to work out the answer? The the link thing was twenty-five take away. 
Okay, so five take away eight. Can you do it? No. No, so you'll have to borrow one from over here, aren't you? So cross out the two, one line straight through it. So you've borrowed one, put it here next to the five, that makes it... Fifteen. Yeah, fifteen. This is the ten, so then put a one here because we've taken one away, and now that one's one. That's it. Okay, so what's fifteen take away eight? Um... Should we count up from eight to fifteen? Ready? Watch my fingers. So eight in our heads. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I've got seven. What have you got? Seven, two. Million and seven. Okay. So put a seven there then, and then tell me what one take away one is. Zero. Zero. So how many children like tennis? Seven. So you can draw seven children. After we've done this question, you're finished. Boom, boom, boom. You're finished. Boom, boom, boom. You're finished. Boom, 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, 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 ooh. You're my lover. <laughs> Do you remember that? You. remember that song? Do you remember that song from when we were in Mallorca? Yeah, they're, they're, they're floating pals and they can't stop floating, so the teacher's tied them to the ground. Right then, you're done. Everyone's done. What? What? So that was all three children doing their home learning, their home education, and it took us, I just worked it out, one hour and 18 minutes to do English and maths with Albert and Charles and Bess. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. I will see you again soon for more adoption, home education, and family content. Bye.